so I can fully understand where you're coming from here, man. Um, confidence for me was also a massive issue throughout my whole life on and off the field, uh, all through juniors. Um, shout out South Acacia Ridge. I was skinny. I didn't know the game as well as most of the other lads. I started a little bit later than most of them in the team. Um, I remember one game in particular. It was a semi-final. The game was tied. Uh, I was playing on the wing, uh, had open space in front of me. Um, someone passed me the ball and I just dropped it cold. And the lads sprayed me hard, man. Called me a fucking idiot. This and that. And I just felt like absolute shit. And that stuck with me for a long, long time. And to this day, I still see it was like, like it was yesterday. And believe me, I would have dropped 100 balls since that game. But that is one of the ones I remember the most. Um, my dad wasn't a great help with my overall confidence either. Um, no matter how hard or how well I played, uh, how well I did, um, there was always a negative. I remember one game under 15s or 16s, I got man of the match. Uh, I went home and I was so stoked. I uh, said to my parents, look, I got man of the match. And the old man, uh, he was already down there, but they'd come home before me and he said, I don't know how you got that. I said, you, you missed this tackle. You didn't do that, you're unfit. And it just made me instantly feel like shit. And that kind of shit fucking hurts. And it really sticks with you. So, you know, this was just one of the many confidence oppressing moments um, I've been through. Uh, I was quite bullied as a kid as well. Um, but what I will say, through all the negative shit, it just fueled my fire to be better and prove everyone wrong. Um, I decided at about 13 years old to either be the hunter or the hunted. And I wasn't going to be anyone's punching bag anymore. So that is you know, a decision I made. And one of the biggest turnaround things in my life was starting gym. I stopped caring about what people said and just focused on my training. And I started liking how I looked in the mirror. I could see myself building muscle and I could see how strong I was getting. So in everyday life, I liked who I was becoming and I loved how it felt. Uh, I always knew I wouldn't be the most talented or intelligent person, but I sure as hell was going to make sure I was the strongest motherfucker I could be. And little by little, I was starting to run harder, starting to drag more players down, um, took a lot more players to put me down on the ground, and I was starting to fold lads in defense, which started to happen because of gym training, no doubt about it. That was the also the first few years I started making rep squads. So yeah, no, no, no coincidence there. Uh, that is why I, without hesitation, believe training is the answer whenever the confidence question is asked. Training is a way to reinvent yourself and leave the old you behind. So to answer your question, train to get big and strong first and foremost, which I think you already are by what you said in your question. But for those listening, strength training is where you need to start. You know, for the last 17 years, my job has been about turning weak, soft, kids, teenagers into strong men and women, both physically and mentally, and nothing creates that transformation better than the strength training. Uh, putting on muscle and getting strong is how you change yourself on and off the field. I've seen it too many times in my career as a trainer to ever doubt it. Uh, and nothing is more character building than hard work, okay guys? One of the biggest roadblocks we have is our own self-doubt, just like myself. You are not the same skinny little 12, 13, 14 year old lad you were, man. You know, every time you train, you're a little bit stronger, you're a little bit bigger than you were before. You know, physically, you're not that kid anymore, bro. You need your mentality to catch up to your body. You know, the best way to overcome anything is to get out there into the arena and fight. You know, the arena is not only the game, but it's the gym too. You know, training has taught me a lot about myself and it tells me a lot about someone who I'm training. Okay, it teaches, training teaches perseverance and resilience. It teaches you to push beyond barriers and dig deep to see what you're made of, man. It's a way, it's, it's more than just a physical stress, it's the mental fortification you create when you overcome something that you believed you couldn't do. You know, if I say to you, give me two more reps and you say, I can't, motherfucker, I'm gonna make you do 10. And if you refuse and give up, that tells me everything I need to know about who you are and, and what we need to change, okay? so. I was gonna talk about affirmations and the power of mindset training, but it's not my go-to strategy and I've never used it. Um, I've never used that strategy for any of my clients. You know, hard physical training is all the mindset training that you need. So to summarize, the best way to overcome anything like this is to get out into the arena and fight, 
okay? I hope this really helps you, man, and I hope it helps anyone who is lacking confidence. Um, I know what it's like. I was that kid, I was that player, um, and I overcame it, and it was all through hard training, and it's gonna work for you as well.